So I got my Bamboo Labs P1P Core XY machine uh, yesterday, and now we're gonna be doing a quick review on it. We're gonna do some test prints, and we're gonna see how this machine performs, and if it really is the new king of 3D printers. Let's go check it out. All right, so the first thing we're gonna notice is that this thing is really just a bare bones kind of machine. All right, as you guys can see, there's no side paneling. You can see the the frame still has where you can put the bolts if you were to put some sort of paneling right here. And right next to it is the X1 carbon. Now, if you guys wanna see my comparison video of the two, the link for that is gonna be right here. All right, now, if we were to describe the P1P, it's more like a Blackberry, right? It's a good machine, it does its job, but it's just not as nice as the X1 Carbon. This one would be like the Pixel 7 Pro or whatever, right? This one's a Blackberry, it does a job, it still prints phenomenally, it still does its job, it still prints very, very fast with high quality prints, but it's just not as pretty, okay? So, that is a too long didn't read. Now, let's do some test prints and we're gonna check out and see what those look like. All right, so we're test printing this uh, calibration box that I have in shiny silk PLA. And in about an hour and a half, it's gonna be done and we're gonna check it out. And our calibration box is now done. As you guys can see, there's no stringing. It printed really, really nicely. Um, maybe there's like one little tiny string right there, but you know, it's nothing too bad. You got the flexi tail in the back. Let's go ahead and pop this off. Oh my God, that pops off so nicely. The tail is perfect. It came out super, super nice. You see those details? Oh my gosh, man, that is really, really nice, you guys. All right, so now we are gonna print something with TPU. Um, because we've already printed something like this. It's uh, the Silk PLA, so we've tested PLA. So now we're gonna test a, something on the direct drive that needs a direct drive, which is gonna be TPU. Um, we are going to print the same exact model to see if there's gonna be stringing, anything like that, uh, if it can print um, properly. So uh, it's gonna be a four hours before this thing is done, and we'll check it out in here in a little bit. All right, so the TPU print is done. See if we can pop this off. Come on, oh, there we go. Pops off pretty good. There we go. Also prints flexies, right? Got a little bit of stringing. I think that's just my retraction settings, but still holds that detail. Again, you got the little stringing right there. That's from retraction. Holds the detail. Um, got a little bit of a overhang issues there, but I think that can be fixed via slicer settings. The rest of the print though looks pretty gosh darn good. Um, you get the nice little details, again a little stringing there, a nice bottom. Alright, so what can I say about this machine right out of the box? Well right out of the box I can tell you it is perfect out of the box. These two prints were printed straight out of the box with no modifications. The only thing I really did was I went straight to the slicer and the slicer settings that I had were these stock ones where you just, I put, you know, here's the filament that I'm using and it does everything for me, right? I loaded it up and this calibration box came out amazing. All right, you guys can get this file at nicoindustries.com. A uh, link for that is gonna be in the description below. So the, the Silk PLA came out amazing. The Flexi Tail came out perfect. The details in the back look phenomenal. No overhang issues, no stringing. The smooth parts are smooth. I mean, this thing came out great, you guys. Now, looking at the TPU one, there's some stringing, okay? I'll give you that. Now with the stringing, that's just a retraction setting. Right, I, 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 I'm, I feel like each brand of TPU has its own retraction setting. So I'll have to play around with that to see the retraction setting for this blue Ziltec that I had lying around. But without, without the, you know, looking at away from the retraction settings, 
this thing came out fantastic. It came out beautifully. This flexi is really, really nice. So the, the tail also came out great, right? Looking past the, the stringing. The details came out, the smooth came out great. I mean, this thing is so, so nice, you guys. All right, so let's talk about the pros and cons of this machine, all right? Let's talk about the pros first. First, it's super easy to assemble. It only took seven screws total, to, three to take off and four to put stuff on. And so it's really, 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 really easy to assemble. Second, right out of the box, it prints damn near perfect. It also integrates with their proprietary bamboo slicer perfectly. Also, the parts are easy to take on and off. Like the fan, it's just one connector, bang, it's gone. It's magnetic onto the, on the, um, the entire assembly. The hot end and all the, the thermistor, everything pops in on and off super easily, which makes troubleshooting a breeze. You also got the magnetic base with the flex plate on top with the textured coating. Um, that thing is an amazing, amazing addition to the machine. The nozzle heats up fast, the bed heats up fast. It's just an overall amazing machine, all right? Now let's talk about the cons. With all the new, like the Anacubic Cobra Go and the all the new, all the new machines have the nice um, touch screens, uh, this one doesn't. The, the, the screen is very DOS-like. Um, I would say very, very outdated. Um, I would like to have the touchscreen on the X1 on the P1P personally, just so that it can actually rival um, the UI of the other machines. Honestly, that's my only gripe. That's my only con for this thing. All right. So now let's talk about, is it the new king of machines? Well, let's think about it. Is it better than the Ender 3? Yes, absolutely. Is it better than the Anacubic Cobra Go? Hell yes. Is it better than the Elegoo Neptune 2? Yes. Neptune 3, yes. Is it better than the Creality CR10? Sold all of my Creality CR10s to get one of these and get another one, so yes. Um, is it better than a Prusa? Never had one, but I talked to other people who've had Prusas and they say yes. So, with that said, with this machine being better than all those other machines in its category, does that make it the new king of printers? I'd say so. So, Bamboo Labs, congratulations. You guys are the new king of the hill. Um, kudos to you and your team for building such an amazing, amazing machine. Uh, can't wait for you guys to build a bigger one. Um, and I'll be the first in line to get one of those. But uh, I just want to take this video to say congratulations to you and your team. You guys did an amazing, amazing job. And so that is my review of the Bamboo Labs P1P. Hope you guys like it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.